Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Murakami Chronicles. Today is gonna be the first part of my December book haul and it's it's a big one and I still have a couple of books that are in the mail that are currently on their way so I will be doing a second part of my Black Friday haul. So let's just jump in and let's do this. The first uh, couple of books which are uh, a little tiny bit of an unboxing. I got this before uh, Black Friday um, on Book Outlet and there were two books that I didn't want to miss out on uh, by waiting for the Black Friday sale. And the first one which I am so excited about because I have been trying for at least 10 times to get this book on Book Outlet because every time there was only one left and I wanted it and it wouldn't work and I was so upset that it would go out of my card. And that is Every Heart a Doorway by Shannon McGuire and I am so, oh god, I have this in my hands and I'm so excited because finally <laughs> it took a while to be able to get this in my hands for less than ten dollars. And it is the tiniest thing I have seen in my life. It is so short. There's not even 200 pages. That is amazing. I'm so excited. Oh, that is so beautiful. It has tiny little ship. Can you see? Love the green. Ooh, green and silver. That's so beautiful. Anyways, this I am excited about. <laughs> that was here in my book. Whatever. <laughs> um. Oh. It is broken. Okay. Well, I got it for cheap, I guess. But that is Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Neuvel. And um, this is a sci-fi book that is about, I think, this young girl that uh, she discovered a giant metal hand um, when she was younger. And now she is a scientist and she is studying uh, those metal parts that, that they're finding um, all over the world and it is told through files and and uh, interviews so you know how I like those and I'm excited about this I actually started reading this on my phone but I hate reading on a small small tiny little screen so I wanted to read this and I got it and I'm excited to finally be able to dive into this much excitement. Let's first talk about uh, some used books that I got. This is the five first Harry Potter. Is it the five, five first? Am I saying? I think that's the first five books in the Harry Potter series and if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, I am not an expert of Harry Potter because I have read the first and the seventh ones. <laughs> So let's just go through them very quickly because we all know the Harry Potter books and the first one is Philosopher's Stone and I got it for under two dollars which is amazing. Value Village will forever be my favorite place to go shopping for used books. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, and Harry Potter, oh, that's the back of it, and Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Next three books are also book outlet. The first one is Mr. Penumbra's 24 Hour Bookstore by Robin Sloan. I've heard very good things, lots of good things. Sorry about this book. Um, I know it's uh, in a bookstore. And it's supposed to be magical, and that's about all I know about it. It's a bookstore. Is there anything else to say to that? Am I speaking correctly? Probably not. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. The next one is Paper Menagerie and Other Stories by Ken Liu. Um, and I've been wanting to read more short stories and I've heard this was very good and it's supposed to be sci-fi and fantasy, both of them. And I really want to read some sci-fi um, short stories. Those are my favorite. So I'm excited about this. Um, next one is Children of the New World by Alexander Wein Weinstein? Stein? Weinstein. Weinstein? 
Weinstein. I don't know how to say that, but uh, this is also short stories and they're mainly sci-fi and I've actually started this in November and haven't completed it, so I'm gonna try to read this before the end of the year. Because I enjoyed it, I just stopped because of life. That's the only reason and also it's cool. Next three were also uh, bargain books, but I bought them um, at Indigo and the first one is Every Hidden Thing by Kenneth Opal. I've wanted to read this since I've heard of it the first month it came out and it came out this year so I've been wanting to read this since the beginning of the year I think and I'm excited about this because um, I mean it's about dinosaurs. It's all I need to know. I love dinosaurs so you know and it's a middle grade and I love middle grade books and I love dinosaurs, dinosaurs or life. So I cannot wait to read this and I've been meaning to read this since so long. So I was excited when I saw it, saw it at under $10. It was a pretty good bargain to me since I've been wanting to read this so much. This one is Arkwright by Alan Steely and um, I don't know what this is about. It was $8 and what do you think happened? I just... I read the little flappy thing there and it says something about science fiction author and something and stuff. It's, a, it's, it's, it's in space. It was cheap. It talked about writing books. I bought it. I hit myself two times in the face with this book. It needs to be put down. And the last bargain book um, of this file is very dirty and it is uh, The Water Knife by Paolo Paolo Bacigalupi? Paolo Bacigalupi baby. The Water Knife by Paolo Bacigalupi. Ah! Ow! Um, next book is The Water Knife by Paolo Bacigalupi. I think. This is my fifth time, and I think it wasn't so bad. <laughs> to be honest, I have no clue what this is about. I know that this author, uh, author, yeah, author writes about dystopian wor worlds. I think I've heard Reagan from uh, Pro's Project say really good things about this author, so I thought I would try it, and it was cheap. And I've been wanting to read this for quite a while, so. I have no excuse. I just don't have a lot of self-control. That's it. That's that's all. And I have. We're up to the last uh, two books, which that's not true. Where's the other one? Fudge! I forgot one. Damn it! When I thought the video would be over, there was actually more. The first one is Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I've heard very good things about this book, and I cannot wait to dive into it because the writing was phenomenal from what I've read and since I don't like reading on my phone and when I when I like a book that I read on my phone I buy it to read it but then I never read it because <sighs> but I just bought it like this month so it's okay it's all good it's all good and I love it because it, it is the floppiest and softest softest book of life. The last two books um, I've picked up on my last Indigo adventure because I actually pre-ordered a uh, Closed and Common Orbit by Becky Chambers but it never happened. It never came to me and I was upset. And they told me they didn't have any at the, at the um, shipping place so I was like I'm gonna go check in the store nearby me and there it was and I was sad because then I just had to cancel the thing, whatever. I never have problems with the uh, shipping with Indigo, but this one was really upsetting me. But I got it. It's here in my head. Finally, it's here. And I loved the first one so much. And I couldn't wait for this, even though I knew it wasn't the main same characters. But apparently there is a character, sort of, from the other one, if it counts. Anyways, if you've read... <laughs> if you've read the first one, you know what I'm talking about. This is one of my most anticipated things 
of the last couple of months. This needs to happen soon. Soon, soon, soon. The last book that I want to talk about is The Meryl Thieves by uh, Cherry Dimali, I think. And this is a Stopian, I think. It talks about, I know, um, the place of Native Americans in our society and stuff like that. And I just heard uh, Bugs and Lala talk about this and she said so many good things. And so I had to pick it up. I have some Native American blood in me, so um, this is something that's very important to me. And I wish I knew more about this culture, so reading helps with this. So that is it for my first part of a of my December book haul and I hope you all enjoyed. Please let me know down below if you've read any of those books and if you did let me know your thoughts and if uh, you want to let me know which I should read first so I can put some priority on, on them because there's a lot of them. <laughs> Comment any of your suggestion, suggestions, sorry, any of your thoughts down below. Please leave a like to let me know that you enjoyed this type of content and subscribe down below if you want to see more of my uh, videos and if you want to see my part two of my um, book haul. Uh, so have a very lovely day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!